Hello everyone and welcome back. This is my second edition of Clark Reads. And today I will not be uh, reviewing a specific book, but I will be reviewing an author and his life. If you can't guess by now at the passing of Sir Terry Pratchett, I will be looking at the life and the books of Terry Pratchett. Terry Pratchett is one of my favorite authors, if not my most favorite author of all time. The man was inspirational and I do credit him with at least giving me uh, some inklings that religion and the whole God concept might be a little bit off. So this is taken from the, uh, the Wikipedia of Terry Pratchett. He was born April 28, 1948. Uh, he was the only child and he actually published his first novel story at age 13 and it was then published commercially the Hades business at age 15. He worked in journalism for a while until he uh, start, started writing. <clears throat> and he sold over 70 books. He's the second most popular author in the United Kingdom, only behind J.K. Rowling. He was the, the most popular of all time, sorry, not of all time, in the UK in the 1990s. And he's fifth nationwide. Did I say nation? Globally. He is the fifth most popular author globally. Yeah. That's how widespread his influence has been. And his Discworld novels especially have sold millions of copies. So some interesting things about him. He was a humanist. He's considered a, labeled himself a humanist and he was actually part of the uh, Secular Humanist Society in England. Um, a fossil sea turtle in 1995 was actually named after him. I can't even pronounce this. Pephophorus? Something, 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 Terry Pratchett. It's a sea turtle fossil that's named after him. And there's an asteroid named after him. So some interesting facts about Terry Pratchett. <laughs> he was also, a, really, he was also an avid video game player in collaborating the creation of a number of game adaptations of his books. Huh. He liked Half-Life and Tomb Raider. I actually did not know that about him. So the most influence that I have from Terry Pratchett actually are his books. And I've, I've got all of them actually on my tablet because the man was a fantastic writer. And uh, his satire especially was just it was phenomenal. His Discworld series, they were hilarious, they were insightful. And they talked about modern society but using the whole fantasy realm to talk about modern issues, problems, theological, philosophical issues. The, the, the man was just outstanding. Um, he actually, uh, so there's a book that he wrote, uh, Monstrous Regiment. And today I, I did a show earlier on the uh, Secular TV. We did the Bohemian Brew. I'll leave a link down to that in the description, I guess, where we talked about transgender issues. Terry Pratchett actually wrote a book, a whole book that was similar to that. So he wrote called Monstrous Regiment, where people, you would read these books and you'd laugh at these characters and kind of see what's going on. They would talk about their issues and stuff, but in a way that you could understand, say, hey, you know, this might be talking about modern society. He talked about religion in lots of his books. One of the, one, one of the ones that I remember the most was Small Gods. I love that book. It's hilarious and I can't recommend it enough. Uh, and then his, his works on the, the human psyche, and especially like in the militarization of the police force. He did uh, Night's Watch, Men at Arms, Guards, Guards. Those are amazing books, and they talk the, the politics of cities and how people think and the way people hate each other and racism in the book Thud, where it's dwarves versus trolls. He was tackling deep issues but with humor and style and class and brevity. Brevity? Levity. There we go. One's brief and one's funny. Levity. And you can laugh at it and still learn something from it. And that was the magic of Terry Pratchett. He could take a deep, difficult issue to discuss and he would just lay it out there and it was just a beautiful way and it was humorous and comical and we could laugh at ourselves. And he's going to be sorely missed. So a couple of his awards, he was the British Book Awards Fantasy and Science Fiction Author for the year 1994. He won the Science Fiction Award in 1989 for his novel Pyramids, 
and the Locus Award for Best Fantasy Novel in 2008, Making Money. Awesome book. He was awarded nine honorary doctorates, the University of Warwick in 1999, the University of Portsmouth in 2001, University of Bath in 2003, University of Bristol, Buckingham, New Buckinghamshire New University, University of Dublin, Bradford University, University of Winchester, and the Open University in 2013. He won the 2001 Carnegie Medal from the British Librarians, recognizing the amazing Maurice and Educated Rodents, which is a children's book that's kind of a play on uh, the Pied Piper of Hamlet. I, again, I can't recommend it enough. I don't, I don't think there's a single book of Terry Pratchett's that I've read that I didn't love and wouldn't recommend. He's that good. And there are some authors that, yeah, I like their books, but it's like, eh, that book's not for everyone. I have not found one of those with Terry Pratchett yet. The man, he can write for anyone. And everyone should read him. Wow. So he, three of the Discworld novels that sit on the training witch Tiffany Aiken won the annual Locus Award for Best Young Adult Novels in 2004, 2005, and 2007. He received an NESFA Skylark, Skylark Award in 2009 and the World Fantasy Award for Lifetime Achievement in 2010. Wow. Son of a bitch. This guy won a lot of shit. I Should Wear, wear Midnight won the 2010 Andre Norton Award for Young Adult Science Fiction Fantasy. It's part of, oh, wow. It's part of the Nebula Award Ceremony. Damn, motherfucker. The guy won a lot of awards. He touched the hearts of millions of people. Everyone loved him. And personally, for me... I feel that a lot of his writing really made me who I am today. So enough about that. The reason I say that is because his writing let me laugh at myself and look at myself and my problems and my issues that I was going through these last about five or ten years and find humor in life, find humor in religion and the weird things about society that I just didn't understand and we realize that sometimes you don't have to understand it, but you can still laugh at it. Terry Pratchett had a long battle with Alzheimer's. He was diagnosed in 2007, it was early onset, and he donated $1 million to the uh, Alzheimer's Association research when he realized that only 3% of the money that's normally given to cancer, that amount is given to Alzheimer's research. It is a, it's a terrible disease. And Terry Pratchett also said that he would want to have assisted suicide should the disease ever progress to such an extent that he no longer had control. One of Terry Pratchett's most beloved characters was the character of death. And it's something that we've all struggled with and something that his character of death, especially in the book Reaper Man, I grew to love. And a way of looking at death is maybe not such a bad thing that happens. Just another part of life. <sighs> Sir Terry, you're going to be missed. But you will not be forgotten. Your books will live on. Your words will live on. And I will guarantee you that, in your honor, I will read at least one of your books a month for the next year. For those who are interested, I will leave uh, some links to his works down below, including to his website. Um, there's also a few movies out there that you can check out. So I know that they made The Color of Magic uh, with Tim Curry and Sean Astin. And there is... Crap. There is mu uh, Soul Music. It's an animated cartoon. And there's another live-action one, Going Postal. So at least there's at least three or four movies out there. Uh, based on the works of Terry Pratchett that I highly recommend. They're, they're goofy, they're light, they're funny, and they're, uh, they're interesting. So that's uh, my review of Clarky Reads. A little bit different. I, I'm, I'm hoping to do more of these, of these videos on this channel where it's unscripted. It's just me talking about the authors, the books, my feelings on it. Uh, definitely not as smooth as my other ones have been. But uh, let me know what you think about this if you want me to do other books. Talk about the books that I love that have influenced me. Shit that I've got in here. I used to have a lot more, but uh, hopefully I'll start filling this bookcase up just a little bit more. And with that, I hope to see you next time. Have a good day.